Hello guys and welcome back to the Minecraft Mon tutorial. In the last full episode, we created creative tabs, and in this episode, we're going to be doing tools and armor. As I know a lot of you want to get into more complex things, so I decided to do them both in one episode. Let's get started. First thing we want to do in init, we're going to do these at the same time. So tool in it and armor in it. Open up item in it, copy everything into both. And obviously, we're throwing tool in it. We'll just create the pickaxe for now. So, tutorial underscore pickaxe. Hover over this and change the tutorial pickaxe and change the tutorial pickaxe and then change this to custom pickaxe hover over it create class and we're going to create the dot tools uh, package and finish and it's obviously going to extend item pickaxe import that Get the constructor. I want a tool material when it's public. But we're also going to put string name as normal. Delete this auto generated sub and set the unlocalized name to name and the registry name. The name and give that a save and then it wants a tool material so up here above item we are going to create a tool material the tool material it just specifies the damage a sword does the mineable pickaxe and efficiency of axes and so on so public static final Tool material, tutorial is equal to new, no sorry, equal to enum helper dot add tool material. The name is going to be tutorial. The harvest level, this is the, what I can mine. Remember, we set our um, ore to two. So, since we set our ore to two, we're going to set our pickaxe to three. Well, and this is also, this is refers to pickaxe, the amount of pickaxe can mine. Max uses, if we hover over add tool material with control, go into it, and then hover over tool material, we can see all the things of that diamond, gold, iron, and so on. So what I'm going to do, to make this easier, I'm going to copy everything from diamond into my custom, into my tool in it. You can see it's maximum uses, so this is the durability, the efficiency, the damage, and the enchantability. I'm going to paste in stuff from diamond, but we are going to reduce it a bit, as we don't want it to be as powerful as diamond. So 1,200, 7, 2.5, and 8. So we have the name, the harvest level, the durability, the efficiency, the damage. This damage value is always lower than the efficiency, it's a lot lower. But this does refer to quite high damage. And then the enchantability. Control shift O to import tool material. And then just put tutorial here to set that as a tool material and give it a save. That is our tutorial pickaxe registered. We also need to do the textures and stuff in a bit, but for now we'll go with armor in it and we shall create the helmet. Tutorial helmet. 
helmet here and helmet here and leave that save then we don't actually create a custom helmet we just create custom armor and it's all one thing create custom armor and put it in dot armor and it's going to extend item armor it has to be spelled the American way so item armor A M A R O M R and then add the constructor as you can see this wants an armor material like the thing onto the tool material it wants the render index which is the level that it renders on your player and then the equipment slot this is like head chest and so on so it's going to super off them and then of course we'll add string name and then set them again it's really quite simple then we have to create an armor material so let's add the argument here to so i'll be null for now but we'll create an armor material public static final um, armor material and I'll just call it tutorial as well is equal to enum helper dot add armor material the name this is going to be tutorial the texture name is going to be your reference to ID plus colon tutorial as it's armor and it needs to be rendered onto the player all around his body it has textures for the helmet chest um, leggings and boots separately and it also has a, a texture for all the armor so this is referring to where the texture is located for the armor and once again if we go back if we're going to add armor material and an armor material we can see the diamond stats i'm going to copy these into my armor in it as you can see this durability which is just the durability then reduction amounts is how much each piece of armor reduces is an array which it has four different values enchantability the sound when you place it on it doesn't really matter they're mostly the same and toughness which is how much it can withstand without losing durability so i'm going to paste in all the diamond values so as we can see we have 33 this is very high for durability i'm going to put 25 then for reduction amounts i'm going to do three five seven and two is how much each piece of armor reduces the damage you receive enchantability i'll put eight again i'll leave it as item armor equipped diamond in the future if you want you could create your own custom sound we might do that in the future and then toughness i'll put 1.5 put a semicolon on the end and import arm material then the custom armor thing wants a few inputs the arm material we'll put tutorial and just to make sure we don't get any errors we'll call it tutorial underscore armor make sure we don't get any errors in the future with the names of our tool and item in it sorry tool and armor in it um, render index this is the helmet so it'll be on the first layer the helmet chest plate and boots are on the first layer and the leggings are on the second layer it's quite confusing but basically the leggings have to render over they're on a different, and they're actually on a different image file compared to all the other three. So just put one, and then the entity equipment slot is just entity equipment slot 
dot head as it's a helmet. We've registered the helmet and that's it done. Now I'll just put a time lapse here, you just go through and add each of them. There we go, I've added them all in here. Now we're going to create each of the, ah, the axe, the hoe, the shovel, and the sword. Let's go through and create the hoe first in dot tools. Finish, extend item hoe. Import, add the constructor, add string name, go down one, delete the sub, and set unlocalized name to name, and set registry name to name. Do that for each of them except from the axe as that is a bit different for some reason there's an error with it now for custom axe create a new class in dot tools But for some reason, you can't actually extend from the item axe anymore. So you've got to extend from item tool. Then, just add the type item axe here. Then hover over it and with control and click. Then, copy everything inside of it. Into here. Delete attack damages and attack speeds. Leave effective on. Um, delete damage versus entity. Delete this protected function and change this to public. Then make it extend item tool again. Import. Change this to custom app. and save. Then I want to new in here, add string name. Set and localize name to name and set registry name to name. And that's the item axe finished. Click save all and all your errors should go away and then we have to do the resources inside of textures create a new folder called dot models dot armor spelled in the American way and then this is where you're going to put the location of the armor file for all the armor and then you'll put the textures for the helmet and so on inside of items we're going to need to create a model. So go down to your reference libraries, for source, um, assets, Minecraft, and models, item, and find an iron helmet or whatever other piece. We'll go with iron boots. Copy it. Then 
and then inside of models item create a new untitled text file paste that in once again put tm colon and then tutorial underscore boots give it a save in source main resources assets tm models item tutorial boots dot json I've already done the textures so I'll just open them up from my file file explorer and I'll open up my test mod and get my textures but as you've seen in the previous episodes I just go over with a transparent color so you'll have if you want to do the armor you'll have the um, iron underscore layer underscore one and iron underscore layer underscore two just rename them to test layer one and test layer two and then put your texture and then put them in your models armor file I've got them here I'm gonna copy them into my textures models to armor and paste it when copying things from your from other mods Make sure to name it correctly. Mine, both of these are called test. So make sure that those are called tutorial layer one and tutorial layer two. That will be what shows up on your player when you put the items on. And then textures items. You have the boots, chest plates, helmet, and leggings. Copy them and put them in items. And then I need to go through and rename them. So make sure you rename you name yours to tutorial, boots, and so on. And there we go. Also, we've got to put in the lang. We have the item, the tile, the item group. And now we'll have each piece of armor. So let's copy the tutorial ingot. Change the tutorial helmet. As you can see, creating armor and tools is just very tedious. And then copy this. Let's do it again. Tutorial chest plate. And so on and so forth. And there we go, our line is done. We also need to create five more models. Go back down to your forge source, item, find iron ingot, not iron ingot, iron pickaxe. Copy it. Create a new text document. Paste it in. Put TM, put tutorial, give it a save, where you normally save it. And there we go, finished with models. And once again, I'm going to copy across my axe, hoe, pickaxe, shovel, and sword into the assets, TM, textures, items, making sure, copy the files, making sure this time to rename them all.
Now, we need to go into our handles, registry handler, and add in tool.register and armor.register into the client and then tool in it dot in it and armor in it dot in it into the common now that's done if you boot your game we should have a set of armor and a set of tools in the game there we are we have, as you can see my armor's working and if we go into here all our things are named and they work if you have enjoyed this video please hit the like button down below subscribe to the channel for more you can check out, check out the playlist link in the description thanks for watching my name has been harry and goodbye <laughs>